Hey guys, be Mr. Casual, and I'm here with Mr. Moose. And this video, we're gonna be doing a fight reaction video to Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. So, all right, so let's get into it. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, the reaction was, uh, you know, honestly, I'm not gonna, I'm not one of those people that's gonna say the fight was rigged. I think it was a good fight. I think Jake Paul did a lot better than um a lot of people think he like did. Whatever, like, I know a lot of people like to give Jake Paul credit, but like he did good, bro. Like you know, his skills definitely got a lot better over the last like four or five years for sure. Like you can see. Like a, like a huge difference, right? I just don't think he's like, like at the top, top. I think he, he can still get better and better. You know, he's only 25, almost 26. I think he'll, he'll continue to get better, but I don't think he's like in his prime yet. Like, I think when he's gonna be like 28, 29, he's gonna start hitting his real prime. I think he's only gonna get better and better. But, and I don't think this fight was rigged. I think it was actually like a, a regular fight. I think it was good. You know, I think it was entertaining. I watched all eight rounds. I'm like, oh, it's a good fight, you know? You know, what about you, Mr. Moose? What do you think? Yeah, I think this was a, actually a pretty good boxing match. It was definitely more fun and interesting to watch than some of the other previous boxing matches. Uh, some of the other matches weren't as fun, actually, as watching this one. Mm -hmm. uh, this fight kind of started a little slow, but, you know, that's just Silva trying to, you know, read his mm -hmm. opponent, figure out what he's all about. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, I would say that Silva actually did pretty well, too. I mean, the guy is, you know, 47. <laughs> what do you expect, you know? Yeah. But also at the same time, you know, I also actually disagree with like a lot of the comments saying that the fight was rigged or anything like that. I didn't say anything like really obvious or like crazy that would point to me that it was rigged or anything the, like that. The basically people are saying like like Anderson Silva was fighting like he was sparring, like he was just making it look like, you know, he wasn't going all out. He was saying like he was holding back punches. A lot of people were saying that in the comments. They were saying like Anderson Silva was holding back a lot of his punches. Like, when he could have, like, heard Jake Paul, he didn't, like, do anything that crazy, you know? And he was just... It looked like he was going, like, 30%. That's what people were saying when, you know? Like, he was doing enough to, like, not get knocked out and survive, but not enough to win. That's what they're saying about Anderson Silva. Like, he wasn't going 100%. He was the only, like, you know? But I think he was going just... He's 47, bro. I think I think he was... You know, I think Jake Paul was trying. Jake Paul was trying to win. Like, I don't know. I just don't see what they see. I know... I, I'm, maybe I'm... Just, I don't know. A lot of people might think I'm biased or something. Like, no, like I don't even. I'm not even a huge fan like that of Jake Paul. You know, and I am a big fan of Anderson Silva. I just, don't, I don't think Anderson Silva got paid. They're saying like Anderson Silva probably got paid like, like a mil under the table to make it look like he's fighting, but at the same time, but still to lose. You know what I mean? So people are saying like he wasn't trying. He was just trying to like survive, with and not get knocked out. But he wasn't trying to win, and he got paid like a mil under the table to like throw the fight. So people are saying. You know? Yeah, I heard a lot about that. But you, right, you don't think like you don't. You, you no, think, I mean, listen. I think it was a real fight. I don't know. I mean, every fighter has a good day. Every fighter has a fucking bad day. Yeah, it's uh, like, bro, Anderson Silva was twenty two years older than Jake. Like, I, I don't get, I don't understand why these like, like, like the fans don't realize how like how big of a difference that is. Jake Paul is twenty five, Silva is forty seven, almost forty eight. He's twenty two years older than Jake. Like, I don't understand why people don't get that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so it fought pretty good. I don't know why. People... It was a good fight. Like, I don't know. People were making it seem like, like, oh my God, this, that. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, the people were saying, I'm happy I didn't pay for it. I'm this, that. It's rigged. He got paid under the table. He was holding punches. It was set up. That's all I keep hearing. I, I, I don't know. I don't think that's true. And also, I got the um, I got the judges cards right here. So all three, I got all three different judges cards. So there's Judge Dennis O'Connell. On um, there's Judge Paul Calderon. Judge Chris Wilson. These are all three cards. All right. So from what I see, right? Okay. So look, the first judge, right? He gave Jake Paul six rounds out of the eight. He said Jake Paul won the first, lost the second, won the third, won the fourth, lost the fifth, and then won the last three rounds. You know? So he said Jake Paul won six rounds, right? The second judge said Jake Paul won five rounds. So that means the first judge said six rounds, won Jake Paul, and then Silva won two rounds. And the second judge said Jake Paul won five rounds, and um, and still won three rounds. And the third judge also said um, six rounds, and uh, and Silva won two rounds. So yeah, it's kind of I, I mean I I think and Silva won more than two rounds. I I thought it was like three at least. Like I agree more with the second judge. You know what I mean? Do you think Anderson Silva only won two rounds? I'd have to give him at least three. At the least, minimum, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, I think he won at least three. Like, I don't... At I, least, yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe he won, like, 
the second. Yeah, we, yeah, they all agree that he won the second, right? This guy thinks the second judge thinks he won the third. I think the inner silver won the third as well. And then yeah, he said then he won again somewhere like in the fifth. Yeah, like in the middle, like in the beginning to middle, he did good. Like between round two and five, and Silva did decent. You know. And not only that, but like round six, I don't really remember. I remember round six, seven. I remember Anderson Silva thinking. Remember thinking Anderson Silva is not doing that bad. Like like I feel like like these rounds were really hard to score. Like some of them, some of the rounds were just like so close that you're like, damn. Like, you know what I mean? Like, did you think Anderson Silva won that fight? Like at the end or no? No. I didn't actually. Yeah, like you can tell in a civil loss, but not like it wasn't like that close. You know, you could tell like just who was landing more because he knocked him down one yeah, time. Yeah, obviously the knockdown. Let's say that knockdown never happened. Then what? Um, could you even without the knockdown, you still would be. Ha- yeah, you would still have to give it to Jake Paul because he was the aggressor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there were some moments where you know Jake Paul was getting cornered. Yeah, Silva so uh, cornered him, yeah. unloaded a few times, and then. Like, now, yeah, round two, I remember. It was definitely in round two. I remember that. Like, I remember the first round with Silva was mad slow, just seeing what, he, you know, Jake Paul was doing. And round two, Silva unloaded. I'm like, okay, okay. And then, yeah, like, I don't know. what Because I, I also th- agree that Silva should have lost, but I thought he won, like, three rounds. Think about it. If Silva would have won four rounds, it would have been a draw. Once one of the rounds was, I guess, 10-8. You know? But, um... Actually, yeah, like, I'm just... Hold up, so I'm just confused. Round points. So look, it says 10, 10. So check this out. If I'm reading this correctly, all three judges gave, I think, Anderson Silva. Uh, last round was a 10 8. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's saying the last one was a 10 8. Mm-hmm. It was. Yeah. That, that means like. You know, Jake Paul like dominated the shit out of him in the last round to the point where it was ten eight. Like you get two points instead of one. Yeah, that's why you know. That's crazy that all three just gave it to him. Definitely, Because yeah. if it was if the last round was like a nine, then it would have been seventy four right here. Yeah. You know, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, overall, that's kind of like you know. But I'm just trying to figure this out because. 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 77, right? 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, I get it. All right, yeah, that's crazy, bro. But yeah, overall, like, this is the card. You know, the judges are pretty much all, like, have it pretty close. But, um, like, 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 all their scores aren't that far apart, I would say. You know, usually, so, you know, and in UFC, we have judges, like, one guy gave him this, the other guy gave him some the complete opposite. Like these guys, these judges are actually like not too far off from each other. But, but yeah, overall, it was a good fight. Like who, who, who you know what I was saying? Like who I want to see next? I want to see um Jake Paul versus um Izzy or Alex Pereira, Paula Costa or Jared Cannonier. Like I don't want to see, I don't want to see Nate Diaz versus Jake Paul. I don't want to see Masvidal versus Jake Paul. I don't want to see Conor McGregor versus Jake Paul. All those guys are like. You know, Nate Diaz is 38. You know, Mazda's 38. Connor is like 35, but he's way smaller than Jake. Like, I don't want to see any of those three guys. I feel like those three guys are like the next three. Like, I'll, like, if, I want to see Jake Paul versus Paula Costa. If Jake Paul beats Paula Costa, he'll have my respect like crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't care what anyone says. Like, Jake Paul beats Paula Costa. It's like, damn, good shit, bro. Yeah. I like, I, like I want to see that. Or, or like Marvin Vittori. I wouldn't mind seeing that too, you know? I don't think that's going to happen. Like, you know, Jake Paul needs to fight, it's like, or, uh, bro, if Jake Paul beats Karen Nier or Izzy or Pereira or Paul Costa or Vittori, something like that, someone like the top five in the middleweight division, for sure. Like, you know, Jake is a middleweight. Like, if he was in the UFC, he would be a middleweight. Like, I don't think he'll make welterweight unless he kills himself, basically, but, like, you know, like, kills himself to make the weight. I think Jake Paul is a, is a, will be a middleweight in the UFC, so I feel like he should fight the top five current middleweights. Like, you know? Jake Paul, you know, obviously Anderson Silva was a middleweight when he was in the UFC or whatever. And I think he, he fought DC at light heavyweight that one time. But um, what I'm saying is like, you know, Jake Paul is a middleweight. He should fight the top five in the UFC. Someone from the top five and see how he does. You know what I mean? But obviously, anyway, it's never let that happen. So unfortunately, you know, but I feel like Jake Paul like fights people that either old, that aren't boxers or retired. Or, you know, not his weight division 
or all three, you know? He never fights someone that's young in his weight division, middleweight, and is currently, like, really good. Like, he, he, you know, he fights retired and everything. I don't know, bro. Yeah. He's fight Paul Acosta, but I think Paul Acosta's friends are, like, Logan Paul. They're boys. So I don't think that's going to happen, but that would be amazing. What if Jake Paul, imagine Jake Paul fought Paul Acosta and knocked him out. I can't imagine. <laughs> I'm saying, like, what, what, what would you see, you know? My reaction would be, like, I'll be shocked, but I don't think it's happening, so, yeah. yeah. Not in this universe. Maybe in another crazy... So, who do you want to see Jake Paul fight next? Uh, honestly, I think the fight to make would be, uh, you know, Cannonier would actually be a good fight for Jake Paul, you know? But I feel like he's not famous enough to people outside the UFC. Like, if you ask someone outside the UFC who's Cannonier... They won't know who that yeah, is. Yeah, the problem is they're still, like, some of these fighters are still in the UFC, so, you know. But I'm saying, like, who do you want to see him fight next, though? Like, oh, like, man. I want to see him Paul Costa, bro. I don't you know, know. I mean, Paul Costa would be a great fight, but he would not do it, you know. Like, probably, do you think Paul Costa would smoke Jake? Yeah, it'd probably embarrass him, so, you yeah. think You really think he would embarrass him? Just pure box. Paul Costa, like, has, you know, cardio issues. You think he could fight for eight rounds? I don't think Paul Costa. Yeah, I think Costa. I don't I, think he has the cardio for If Costa right. lands on him, he's going to. Knock him out just like he knocked out his brother in a in a sparring session, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, same exact thing happened. Like I feel like Logan was like holding back, chilling, and Paul Costa wanted to like he knew it was on video, so he wanted to make an example out of Logan. That's why he knocked him out, you know. Just to be like, yeah, I knocked out Logan Paul for like for like the clout. He wanted the fame, knocking yeah, out yeah. Logan Paul, so he went all out. And Logan Paul was just like holding back, chilling. It's kind of fucked up on I, Paul Costa. At the end of the day, I think like uh, you know, Jake should just fight a real boxer. Doesn't matter who he is. Just a real boxer in a similar age, uh, age range. I wonder if Tommy, the Tommy Fury thing is going to happen. Nah, nah, that's probably not good. I, I, I think it's going to happen. I would like to see that. But Dylan Dennis, what about that? I'm waiting for that. So, uh, this is not a good fight because he sucks. So yes. he has no striking. He could talk all the shit he wants. He was talking shit about that. Should have You know, that was supposed to happen instead of the Ben Askren thing. Yeah, he's a I think Ben Askren, like something like. He's a clown. Dylan was supposed to fight, and then Ben Askren took his spot or some shit. Yeah. Something along those lines happened. But yeah, regardless, you know, Jay Paul definitely got gained a lot of respect from beating Anderson Silva. Because either way, Anderson Silva, like, like it's funny, bro. He beats Anderson Silva, and they're like, oh, Anderson Silva, um, it's rigged. Like, you know, like, no matter what Jay Paul does, like, he gets no respect. Knocked out Willie, no respect. Like, beat Anderson Silva, no respect, right? Like, well, yeah, you know. Like, think about it, bro. He knocked out Woodley and beat Anderson Silva, knocked out Ben Askren. No respect at all, bro. Like, like nobody. Like, they're like, well, yeah. Jake said yesterday when they, you know, interviewed him, if if he was walking on water, they would say that he can't swim. So that pretty much sums it up. You he know? said that. Yup, that's what he said, and it was actually kind of funny because it's true. No matter what he does right now, they're just gonna hate. Well, that's check us out. The way it is. He knocks out Paul Acosta. I'm telling you, bro. Paul Acosta has like the look. He's diesel as fuck, big as fuck. He's huge. He's a monster, bro. Jake Paul knocks him out, bro. No one can say shit because he looks like a monster, bro. What what are they gonna say? Like, what are they really gonna say? They're gonna say, "Oh, Izzy did that already." Okay, that's Izzy. So now you're comparing Jake Paul to Izzy. They're like, what are they? What can they say if, if Jake Paul knocks out Paul Acosta? Like, there's like you know he's still a problem. Nobody would want to fight Paul Acosta. Like all the fans might talk shit, but none of them will ever fight Paul Acosta in real life. Like, Hamza didn't even want to fight Paul Acosta, remember? Paul Acosta walked up on Hamza, and Hamza backed up. Yeah. I'm just saying. Or about Jake Paul versus Hamza Shemaev? No. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think so. Why? It's just, it can't happen right now. Why not? Just... Say it. Say why. Well, he's he's in the UFC right now, so but, I, don't, I don't know. Who, who do you think would win that fight? Um, I don't know, actually. That, that, that could be good, because uh, I don't know. Imagine the shit talk and like the that could be actually like Hamza would like jump him be, like before the fight even starts. That could be like a, <laughs> backstage. Any, yeah, that could be like anyone could win that because you know you know Chamayev is you know he's pretty modern in striking, but he's not. Like, or Darren, you know, or maybe like, like do Darren Till versus Jake Paul first, and after Jake Paul beats Darren Till, he could call out Hamza Chamayev because Hamza Chamayev and Darren Till are like you know the Smash Brothers. Yeah. They're, they're like they're besties. So if Jake Paul were to knock out Darren Till, Hamza would jump would jump on that opportunity. Yeah, I'm telling you that should happen. But anyways, guys, me, Mr. Casual, and I'm here with Mr. Moose. Please like, comment, subscribe, and be safe, everybody. All right, take care.